2009 in my pajamas, hanging out at my parents' house and, and just choosing to write a song instead of seeing this person that was just unhealthy to go back to. And I don't know, I feel like we all have someone in our lives that maybe, you know, we've dated and we shouldn't. <laughs> over and over and over again. Uh, so that was me, and this magical day happened where I think one of the other things we relate to is that day then we're over the person, and we never know when that's going to be. It's a miraculous day, and a victorious day, where, you know, we wake up and say no, and we mean it. And, uh, and so that day happened for me on, on December 26, 2009, and I wrote this little song, and I put it in my pocket. And I moved to Los Angeles, and, uh, and I went back with this little song, and, and I just, I had no idea anything was going to happen. And, and then this magic chain of events, and, and, and I found myself on television, and it was just this boom. And uh, two and a half years later, here I am, and I have this belief, after two years of wondering why and how, like so many of us, when... When something like that happens, you know, you wonder why, really. There's so many people who do what we do in our, all of our fields. And, uh, and I had to stop wondering why and realize that it didn't have anything to do with me. You know, I did my part, I, I did my craft, and, and the rest was really up to everyone else. And I realized that everyone opened up their hearts and they let the song inside and then we became connected forever, really. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's a song about strength, and it's called Jar Hearts. I know I can take one more step towards you. 